Hey everyone, this is Mike with Jetadmin, and in this short video, we'll learn how to bind filters to lists, exactly a filter to a table. Okay, so that's the most basic case. So we'll start with this one and then slowly ramp up in the difficulty or complexity. So I already have my filter component here and my table component on the canvas. So all I need to do is bind to those two components. And what I want to get at the end of the day is I have name and category here, and I can type in uh, whatever name I want and choose the category, and it's going to filter this table by those parameters. So I click on this filter component here, and right away I can have see that magic button that we created to bind to a component. I click on it, and you'll see all the lists available for binding, and you can just click this design projects uh, list, and that's gonna be it. And we'll add here a few fields, primarily what we want to filter by. So I'll add uh, the name, name contains, and I'll add category, category equals. All right. So that's pretty much it. I can now choose category, for example. Everything is fetched uh, automatically. You don't have to specify the options. And that's pretty much it. Great. So there are a few caveats here or limitations with this built-in or out-of-the-box filter component. Uh, the main two cases are it doesn't work with graphs at this point, at least. And it doesn't allow you to bind to multiple components. So if you have lots of components here, you have graphs, you have the several lists, and you want this kind of a global filter on top that will filter all those components, you will have to go with individual input fields. So you'll have to go here and drag and drop individual field components and then bind them to those components that will allow you to have the level of flexibility that you want. All right, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great one. Bye.